And look at that. It just thickens it right up. Because you like a thick stew. Yeah, you like a thick stew. Babe, really unprofessional. Really okay. unprofessional. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, babe. I just tell me again I was right. Now it's professional. Okay. You were right. You were right. Tell me I'm a, a meat master. You're a meat master and you were right. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel. Okay, so today we're inside using our favorite kitchen device, the Ninja Foodi. Not only does the Ninja Foodi do a crock pot, air fryer, pressure cooker, sear mode, it does a ton of stuff. We love it. We're gonna be using the pressure cooker today in a babe recipe. Yes, so the weather is changing, it's getting colder, and that calls for soups and stews. Soups and stews. That's right. Today we're gonna make a beef stew recipe with some really delicious meat and bone filet. Uh, it's tenderloin chunks. Tenderloin chunks. We'll show you in a minute when we get to the ingredients, but meatandbone.com, use code COPPINBABE for a discount. We love buying their little packages and it's already pre-cubed up tenderloins. It's like a filet, basically. Super tender, great quality meat. And then we have some leftover brisket too. So we're gonna be doing brisket, some of the tenderloin, a bunch of veggies. I think you wanna do green beans in it. Some green All beans kinds of it. stuff. A little red wine, pressure cook, 20 minutes, super quick, easy. Deliciousness. Weeknight meal. So, all right, babe, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, and here we go. go. Okay, so the Ninja Foodie's out and ready to go. We're gonna use the pressure cooker setting. Pressure cooker setting. There is an extra lid that you need to use with your Ninja Foodie pressure cooker. And then our ingredients. So I have my meat and bone tenderloin. And as you can see, these are big chunks, so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut them in half. I have my leftover brisket. Um, Link above, you can check out the video on how we made this. I'm using fresh rosemary, dried thyme, a couple of bay leaves, a little parsley, some tomato paste, beef stock, salt, pepper, really expensive, good, good cab. <laughs> Just joking, this is two buck chuck. So some wine for flavor. We're using uh, Yukon Gold Potatoes. I used about five of them. I have a yellow onion, a whole yellow onion, some green beans, four garlic cloves, some baby carrots, and then I need flour too and olive oil because I'm gonna sear my meat off before we start. Okay, babe. Are you Sounds ready? good. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so I have my sear saute mode on. We are going to warm that up on high and then I'm gonna sear off my meat uh, with a little flour on it, some olive oil, salt and pepper, garlic, all that good stuff. That's how we're gonna start it. So I opened up my package of meat and I just kinda wanted to show you, they're pretty good sized chunks. So not all of them, but some of them, I'm just gonna half them. So I put my stew, uh, my non-cooked, my raw meat in here in this bag and I'm going to put a tablespoon of flour And then I'm going to put some salt and pepper in there. And this is before we sear it. And obviously the more meat you have, the more flour you use. This is just enough to cover my meat that I have. And I believe it was one pound, right babe? Uh, yeah, pound or a pound and a half. But we're also doing the but fake brisket. But I also brisket. cut up my fake brisket, yeah. And you have to watch the video on that because it is awesome. Okay, so the Ninja Foodi is on the sear setting, so I'm gonna pour about a teaspoon of olive oil in there. We're gonna let that heat up. I'm gonna dump my meat in, sear my meat, and then we're gonna add in our garlic. No meat left behind. Okay, next up we're gonna do our garlic. 
I'm going to do four cloves. And this xylus is fantastic. You can find it below. It's our favorite. It's so easy. You actually don't even have to peel the garlic if you don't want to. So we're just going to get that garlic in there. Saute that up. The meat's looking good. Okay, so I have turned off the sear setting. So the Ninja Foodie is currently off, and I'm going to add in all of my other ingredients. Okay, we have the rest of our beef brisket, our carrots. I used one full bag of baby carrots. I used about five medium-sized Yukon Gold potatoes, one whole yellow onion, and I had some green beans that needed to be used, so why not? Mm, smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna do about one and a half tablespoons of tomato paste. We're gonna do a teaspoon of thyme. do a teaspoon of parsley. Let's do three basil, four basil leaves. Bay I leaves. mean four bay leaves. I'm sorry. Basil let's leaves? Do, let's do four bay leaves. What's that? Oh, these. these are so cool. We got these for our wedding. What is that doing, babe? This is an electric pepper grinder. Electric salt and pepper grinder. So you're putting more black pepper in? Yeah. So I'm probably going to do like two tablespoons of black pepper. Now salt? Yes, and about a tablespoon of salt. We're going to do four cups of beef stock. And if I need to add a little bit more, I'll know. You just want it to come above all of the food, all the veggies and the meat. I added a lot of veggies because I really like the veggies. It's all going to cook down. Mm, perfect. I'm surprised you don't need more tomato paste than that, babe. Yeah, you don't want to have it too tomatoey. Two cups of red wine. I have to drink the rest of that. Okay. And now we give it a mega mix. Now we give it a mix, and then we are going to cook and see what happens. Stew's really easy. I literally just kind of made this up and took some seasonings from other people and some ideas and just made a stew of my own. And you know what? It's going to be Phenomenal. Cornstarch or flour helps thicken it up, so I'm going to add a little bit in there. Get it mixed in. Oh yeah, babe. What do you think? It's going to be yummy. It smells good. It smells pretty good. Okay. We're going to. So you got the on. the pressure cooking lid on. Got it on. We're going to press the pressure. We're going to go high. We're gonna go 20 minutes. We're gonna hit start. We have to wait for that little nipple to pop up. Nipple? Right? Yep. As it builds the pressure and then it will start the countdown. Once it's done, we're gonna let it naturally release, release for about 15 minutes. Okay. We'll see you back in about 20, 30 minutes. What I happened, babe? I forgot one of the most impo important parts. <laughs> the rosemary. The fresh rosemary. Oh, this smells so good. I just used a little bunch of it. Okay. Okay, lid back on and then pressure cook for 20. There we go. Oh, you know what the fun part is now while it's pressure cooking, babe? The cleaning. The cleaning. Yeah. 
You should be doing the cleaning. What? Yeah. So, babe, what were you saying about a crock pot and a Dutch oven and okay, all that? Okay, so there's different ways you can do this. If you have a crock pot or you just want to set it and forget it for the day while you go to work, all the same ingredients, just throw it in the crock pot. You don't have to sear it first. You can just put it all in there. On low for eight on, hours? On low for like eight hours. And it will be just as good. Or you can use a Dutch oven on the stove and simmer it. And you can do it the same exact thing with a Dutch oven. And it will be the same way, but it's like four hours. Gotcha. Yes. Or you could pressure cook it in 20 minutes. Correct. Lots of different ways to do it. Lots of different ways. All pretty much the same flavor. And thank you so much to our top tier channel members. We'll scroll them. Thank you to all of our channel members. You guys make this possible. And we appreciate you. So it's been 20 minutes pressure cooking, 15 minutes natural release. Then you pop the top, let the oh, rest yeah. of the pressure out, and you're not happy. I'm not happy. It's not thick enough. It's not thick enough. So for babe's the whole time liking. you kept saying, babe, I don't think it's going to be thick enough. And I was like, babe, it'll be fine. Okay, well, you were right. Oh, let's say that again. <laughs> you ahead, again. were right. Babe, do you see this cupboard right here? Oh, boy. This is unprofessional filming. Yes, Look at babe. this. Sorry. So what I did is I grabbed some flour, or you can grab some cornstarch. They're a thickening agent. Can you just tell me again that I was right? <laughs> you were right. <laughs> and I, I love you. <laughs> so I'm going to put that in there. That's going to just thicken it up. So what is that? This is flour and water. Okay. Or you can do cornstarch. It's just going to thicken it up a little bit. I did about um, four tablespoons, I would say of flour and then I made it like a pancake batter consistency and look at that it just thickens it right up because you like a thick stew yeah you like a thick stew but this looks really stinking delicious so it smells really good yeah um so that definitely thickened it up a little bit actually it thickened it up a ton and now it's probably to the consistency of your liking you're right meat master make it what works for you. See how that just thickens it up? Yeah. There you go. All right, babe, I'm ready to taste test. Are you Oh, ready? we're getting foggy! Okay, let's bring it back for a taste test. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> so you have your fake brisket, your chuck roast, which is phenomenal. You have yes. basically filet mignon from meat and bone. Mm -hmm. You have carrots, green beans, potatoes, onion, garlic, all your little herbs, yeah. your beef broth, wine. your wine. Fresh rosemary. Rosemary, which I then planted outside planted on the world's smallest patio. Are you Good. excited? Yeah. Okay. I haven't had stew in a long time, and so then you thickened I, it up with flour. I did. I thickened it up with a little bit of flour. It wasn't quite as thick as for you twenty might. minutes in the pressure cooker. I can tell you the potatoes and the carrots are soft and and nice like mm -hmm. a stew. And then I threw a little bit of um, meat and potatoes. I threw a little bit of Parmesan cheese on there. Oh yeah, and parsley. And some parsley. What do you think? That's pretty hearty, dude. Mm. You can kind of... Dinty more? It tastes like a like a gravy for a minute, but then the red wine comes through at the end. The and meat the is way tender. Way tender. And the rosemary is... Um, and you can add strong. the rosemary. The vegetables are... They still have a little... Kind of a baby bit of crunch to them, but not, not too much. So mm -hmm. it's just right. That's Parmesan cheese. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. On a cold day, that'll warm your soul. Does that taste like Dinty More Beef Stew? I don't think I've had Dinty More Beef Stew. You haven't? Have you ever had a Hormel Chili Tamale? <laughs> you have. I have. Actually, that was, I have. That was interesting. <laughs> Babe, I, I mean, this is really good. Mm -hmm. this is, it, it's really good. And what's cool is you could crock pot it for a million years, eight hours, like you yeah. said. But literally, like it took two minutes to whoop yeah. up the ingredients. And the pressure cooker, if you have an Instapot, Ninja Foodie, or whatever, in 20, 20 minutes, minutes. You have a full blown, what tastes like a crock potted. That's skin. really good. The yeah. meat is really tender. Every Like the vegetables are good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got a green bean bite here. Let me hear. That's good. The meat is ridiculous. How do you like the um? How do you like the brisket in there? It's really good because it almost has. If you get a brisket bite, it has a little bit of that rub. A little that bit we of put smoke in there. And that rub. A little bit of smoke and a little bit of that rub. That's really good. That's really good. You guys need to mess around with this because this is. That's good. It's good. Oh yeah. Mm. I just had a bite with the smoker. Yeah. Mm. It's super good. Yeah, man. All right, babe. 
I'm happy with it. Good job. Thank you. You want to do like a high five or something? Like a woo. Good job, like buddy. A fist bump or. Yeah. Good job, buddy. Team. <laughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, we will see you guys on the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.